Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to look at uh, something today that I get asked a lot about, and that is creating, um, I guess, digital copies of uh, photos and, and things that we can take in the class, whether it be for art class, whether it be for um, tech and design, that sort of thing. So we're going to use Adobe Ideas today, and I'm just going to quickly show you through the process of um, bringing in a photo and then sketching over the top, making digital versions and, and creating art and creating uh, different ways of looking at, um, I guess, images. So I've just opened it up here. I'm going to go down the bottom and press the plus. And you can see there, very, very simple interface, really, really easy to use. Um, you can draw straight on that, but if you look at just below the color icon there, there is a little layer palette. And uh, you can see I've already got a layer palette on. Uh, it's transparent, which is what I want. But I also want to select a photo as well. So I'm going to go to my uh, photo library and just bring in an image. Let's have a look. No, we won't go with Yoda. Let's go with um, maybe a picture. Oh, I've got a picture of the uh, Sydney Opera House there, uh, uh, which we can use. So I'm just going to select a color here. I'm going to go with uh, a black to start off with. Now, you can see there, I'll just go back a bit, um, when I press on that layers palette again, you can now see that I've got two layers there. Now I can turn off that photo layer on and off and I can turn off my drawing layer too if I'd like to. But what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to do a quick sketch um, over the lines. So I'm just going to do this really, really quickly. I'm just not even changing. A little bit more of an artistic view of this, I guess. Um, I've just got a like a calligraphy pen at the moment, but it won't matter too much. You can pop and choose and actually use different tools that you want, but it's just to give you an idea, I guess, of um, what we can actually do with that. So I'll just do a couple of lines here just to show you that, that we've got different layers. Um, so I'm just kind of designing over the top of it, just doing some lines across and lines down. You could be really methodical about this if you wanted to, but I'm just demonstrating that we can trace over. So I've just done a really, really quick sketch over the top, a bit more of an artistic look at it. Um, and then if I go to my uh, layers palette now and I turn off that photo, we can actually see that I've got the, um, the view of what I've just created. And then we can kind of pick and choose there. We might put some... Um, Let's put some kind of sky things in here and put some, uh, if we're doing it for an art class or something like that. Now, it might not be that artistic feel. It might be for tech and design that you actually want to do a sketch of a product, say a chair or something like that, that we could actually use. We can bring in some green as well. Um, and so on. And you can see there that it's really, really easy to use, easy interface. We can select um, different sizes of our brushes, um, even some different tools here in regard to the brushes that we can use. We can use um, a little bit more of a pencil tool if we want, or a little bit more like an eraser and so on. Really, really easy to use. Up the top there, you can see Untitled 27. Um, if I press on that, I can rename that if I want. Um, uh, I might put uh, Opera House. So I can actually sign it. Um, we've got some different icons here in regard to email and sharing it. Uh, we can take a screenshot of it if we wanted to. And we can add multiple layers if we want to, to have a, a lot of control over our artwork as well. So that's a really, really quick look at um, Adobe Ideas and how we can use it uh, to, to do layers. It's a totally free app by Adobe. Um, really, it, it's one of those apps that I think should be on every class set of iPads because it it has some really good features in regard to being easy to use across um, very early childhood classes right through to high school as well and secondary classes. So it, it, it's a really um, durable and flexible kind of app that we need to have on our iPads because they're the kind of apps that we want to use over and over again in, in a, uh, I guess, a whole lot of different ways. So that's Paul Hamilton here just signing off. I um, hope you got something out of that today. Please uh, share this video, tweet it to someone if you think that it might benefit their teaching and learning and integrating technology into the curriculum.